live stream time, but I am in my jammy jams. I did at least brush my teeth and brush my hair. That's a start, start to the day. My Reagan, he just got up. We all slept in. We slept in and it was wonderful and we needed it. We've got a busy weekend ahead. So a good, a good snooze was mandatory, necessary, vital. Anyhow, here I am on the couch in my jammy jams. It is a beautiful Friday morning. We had this amazing, hi Judy, this amazing Judy. We had this amazing rainstorm yesterday. Hi Renee, um, happy Canada day. Hi Rebecca. So we had this amazing storm yesterday. And so um, I recorded a little bit of the situation and that'll go up on one of our next um, uh, blogs on the Frugal Family Flies Again channel. But um, <laughs> it was like, hi Viva. It was like, I looked outside and I was like, oh, no way. Hi Tina. I'm like, it's raining what's happening? So I grab my stuff and I run outside. Hi, Belinda. Happy Can Canada Day. Hi, Mimi Evans. So um, I ran out there and oh my goodness, it was wonderful. It was raining. It was chilly. Sat on the porch. My plants were so happy. Hi, Cindy. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Um, So Oh, Judy gets to go to New York City tomorrow. I love New York City. Someday I'll be back there again. One of these years. But anyway, so, oh my goodness. It was so beautiful. And, and it was unexpected. It was not in the forecast. Our forecasts, like our Google forecasts on our phone, have been so far off lately. Oh, you live in New York City. Did I know that, Judy? Did I know that? <laughs> I should by now. Oh, yeah, no, Renee, hobble out. Yeah, hobble and wobble. Absolutely. Absolutely. I am, guys, I am going to go in um, either today or tomorrow to the um, the doctor or probably the urgent care just because that's faster and get new x-rays on my foot. I've just absolutely had it. Um, we got to We got to find out. The sooner you find out, what the damage situation is then then sooner you can start healing from it and get it sorted out hello angela from super duper crazy hot arizona hi christine um well cindy i'm right here i'm right here hello um yeah so so we hobble on outside and sorry if this is bouncy i have you guys perched on a tripod on a pillow i'm not wearing a bra so I don't want to give too much, you know. <laughs> it's that kind of morning. God, it's that kind of morning. So sorry, you're getting bounced about, uh, about a little bit. You and my boobs. So anyhow, um, <sighs> sat on the porch, had the most glorious time with the storm and, and my kitty cat and reading and just, oh, and the plants were so happy which made me so happy because then I didn't have to uh, worry about, um, you know, having to water everything today, which meant that absolutely we got to sleep uh, sleep in. Cindy, I will look forward to hearing from you. Um, you know, just, oh, it was, it was wonderful. Yeah, it was not in the forecast. Our forecasts have been just way off target, but I was okay with it. I was so okay with it because, sorry, cat hair, I think. <laughs> Tracy, someday we will be in the UK, or at least me. I don't know about the kids, but I will. The goal is next year. We'll see. Things never seem to go quite how I plan, and yet we keep on keeping on. Hello, Denise. Uh, so anyhow, we enjoyed it. It was wonderful was wonderful, which then made it so that we could sleep in today, which we needed. Uh, I also got a bunch of stuff planted yesterday, which you'll see on the vlog channel. A lot of the um, seedlings, plants that we had grown from seed, got those planted out. Now I just need to go get more dirt, more soil. 
I had been having it delivered from Walmart, but now every time I go on there, they say they're out of stock. But I don't think it's true. They might just not want to be delivering them anymore. Or so, I don't know, because I've driven by the Walmart, like going to the theater or whatever, and they have mountains of soil stacked out on pallets. So I don't know what the deal is. I'm just going to have to go. Uh, we're just going to have to go and, and pick some up. Yeah, Judy. Okay, so if you guys, um, if you watch our family vlog channel, Frugal Family Flies Again, then you will have uh, come along for the adventure in Provo Canyon the other day. We got out of the house. It was wonderful. We went to the overlook of Bridal Veil vale Falls. And guys, yeah, people were climbing up and down all over that place, which, I mean, live while you're alive. You know, I'm, I'm so absolutely a proponent of that. Life is short. Do your thing. But there are some things that I'm like, yeah, life is short. Let's not speed up the, the process any faster than we have to. I, I don't know how many people have fallen from there. I don't know. I'm going to need to look up the statistics. But either people aren't aware of that or they just don't care. You know? And okay, um, that's your choice, I guess. But then I'm always thinking of all the people around you that get to watch you ha! falling and, and breaking into pieces over the rocks. I don't know. It's... Mm. Yeah, it doesn't look safe, Judy, and it's not meant to be climbed up and down in a ginormous waterfall. But there's trails that people have cut into it, and so people do. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, so, what, what else? Well, this probably isn't going to be a very long live stream because of a couple of reasons. I have a lot of phone calls that need to be made and some I'm expecting to receive. And if one of them calls while we're on here, I will have to jump ship. And that's why I'd, I'd prefer to just have a shorter live stream and then be able to keep the phone open. Hi, Simi Free. Oh, it's so good to have you here. Um, have it open so that I can receive those, those phone calls. I have emails and, you know, we got a lot going on. Um, but uh, uh, what else? Well, eventually I want to put on some clothes and possibly go out and do some fun stuff with the kids. We had plans for yesterday and we were not able to realize those plans because of other things that came up that we had to wait around for and um, and it took all day waiting around. So today, hi Tina, so today we are... Um, going to hopefully try to make up for what we didn't get to do yesterday. Not necessarily by doing what we had planned for yesterday, but doing stuff. Fun stuff. I don't know what stuff, but stuff. We're going to do stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's see. What do we have coming up? The 4th of July, Independence Day, here in the U.S. of America. Hi, Visaka. Um, we have that coming up. We have family coming to visit from out of state. We have some gardening to do. Uh, like I mentioned, I am going to go and get my foot looked at again. I haven't gotten new images. And now that all the swelling has gone down on the majority of my foot other than the, the injured part, it's, it's time. Like I was saying, we need to get an answer so that we can get a treatment going. You know, if they've got to sew stuff back together, okay, that sucks, but let's get it over with and, you know, get on our way. Uh, if it's that it needs to be cast, like put in a cast or a boot or whatever, okay, let's do it. Let's get it over with. <laughs> so that is definitely a priority on the list today. Um, I'm going to go back to the hospital where I originally got my foot treated because they apparently also have an urgent care on property and that would have access to the original images, which would make it a lot easier to compare and contrast to, you know, what the situation is now. So that's definitely part of the plan for today. Uh, what else? Oh, I'm going to um, harvest some spinach. Excited for that. My spinach is really good this year. And then I'm also going to harvest some allium seeds. They are like bursting. 
my my plan for the peony peony seeds it's not happening yet i don't know how long it takes for peonies to to develop their seeds i'm i've been waiting and waiting i didn't chop off the flower heads or whatever i've just left it to do its thing and you can see that the like pods are growing but i don't know how long it takes for them to like grow and then and then burst i don't know i don't know Hi, Colin. Uh, Colin Edom. No, not really. We're just chit-chatting. Um, Simi, no, I I twisted my foot very dramatically and ripped a bunch of, it's a, like a, a grade three sprain. So I ripped a bunch of the, the, the tissues. So we're going to find out what we need to do about that. But um, so anyhow, uh, yeah, I if you guys happen to know anything about peony seeds, you know, and, and harvesting their seeds, let me know, because I've never done it before. Uh, mostly, I've always just chopped that off to let all of the, hi, uh, Lisa, to let all of the energy go into, um, hi, Elaine, into the the bulbs of the plants to let them, you know, take all that energy and strengthen the bulbs. But this year, those peonies, that particular plant, it's been in there for years very strong, very healthy. And in fact, in the fall, I'm going to divide them. Um, and so it's, it's just, um, uh, it's finally at a point where I can let some energy go to the seeds. Um, Renee, the, there's the bulbs in the ground and that's that the plant keeps coming back from, but I want to propagate from it by dividing the bulbs in the fall, but also harvesting the seeds. And they're these very alien looking seed pods that start growing after, you know, the flower is done. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen all the pictures and the images of what it looks like. It's almost terrifying. You know how snapdragons, when they go to seed, they create little skeleton heads, like little skulls. It's amazing. And I love it. Well, the peony seed heads, they're like, um, oh God, they're like, oh, what would even compare it to? Kind of like Alien, where it's like this thing like starts breaking open and and exposing this bed of seeds, but it like rips open eventually. Yeah, it, it's wild. Anyway, but I I want to I want to harvest those. I also have a um a peony out in the Wonderland Garden, our ginormous garden in back that I haven't even been out to. This, well, this season anyway, because I had uh, been like procrastinating and then of course my foot happened and we have a ginormous yard, especially for, you know, where we live. We have a really big yard and getting all the way out there hasn't been on the top of my list, but I do need to get out there soon because there's fruit that needs to be thinned on the trees and, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, Renee, it is, it's ooh, ooh, those seeds when they open up, but anyway, um, so there's a peony plant out there that I also have done nothing else to. And it's been there for several years and is a very strong, healthy plant. And I do expect I will be dividing that one as well. And for sure, it's on the, the path to producing seeds because I haven't done anything to it this time around. So, so we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, what else is coming up? So yeah, we have Independence Day coming up. We have birthdays coming up. Um, we have family coming to visit. What else? There was something else that I was pretty excited about. Um, oh, just to cross this bridge, um, Olivia is doing fine. We are in the process of getting her sorted out and that's, all I'm going to say about that, other than thank you for your love, your kindness, and support. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm going to work on a puzzle again. Because I I have, I know this is a shocker. This is a shocker. But I have been pushing it just a, a little. With the foot. With the gardening. Because we had such good weather for a minute and we had rain and stuff had to get done. And boy, did I pull some weeds. Oh, it was wonderful. And I made some fabulous discoveries. You'll see that on a vlog. Um, but God, it was just marvelous. And so I did push it a little. I did. But 
I'm going to be smarter about it today. So I'm going to start a puzzle so that, well, you guys know, I, I love puzzles and they're, they're like, they're like a beacon to me, a magnet, if you will. And they draw me in and they, you know, and I sit down mm -hmm, while I'm doing my puzzles. So that's an opportunity to put my foot up and to rest. So it's just like how, when I put on an apron, I'm able to do more chores or I'm like more energized to do chores by putting on an apron. By starting a puzzle, I am more inclined to put my foot up and rest so that I can puzzle. So I am trying to set myself up for that. We'll see, we'll see. We're also gonna do laundry and, and things like that. And my, my babies are amazing helpers and they're being wonderful. But what else? Let's see. Puzzles. Feet. <laughs> um, Tracy, bouncy balls. Which ones? We have found some of those so many times. It depends. Are you talking about the light up ones or the smiley face ones or the Paw Patrol one? There's been a lot. A lot over the years. Uh, let's see. What else? Hmm. I don't even know what we're doing for Independence Day this year. Like, there's this huge push in the state to forego firecrackers and fireworks because of our drought conditions and and because of the hellish fires that we have experienced over the last several years. So I don't know if we're even going to do any of that. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, we'll at least do probably sparklers. <laughs> the sparklers on the driveway. Maybe we'll do like some glow jewelry or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have anything planned for that. I'm sure, you know, some of our family will be doing something. So maybe we'll do something. I'm not decorating because the decorations are in the attic. I did have Reagan help me get down all the things for our bottling canning adventures. Um, oh, wow, we got a a troll, spammy, nasty troll. Let's see, did that do it? Did I get rid of them? I even want to um, hide the name, though, because that's likely to get us um, to mess up. Our, um, no, our, what do you call it? Monetization. How do I, like, I've deleted their message. Now I'm reporting them. Let's see. Let's see. Report. Thanks. But it's not like totally removing it yet. Hold on. I got to do this one too. Report. Da, da, da. Okay, now they're gone. Wow. Wow. Hi, Donna. Hi, Rhonda. Um, yeah, wow. That was, I mean, they didn't even mess around. They just went, we're just going to throw it all out there. Good Lord. Look, I am no prude. Never have been, never will be. But my goodness, a time and a place, folks. Jesus. <laughs> Let's just throw it all out there. God, yeah, creepy. Just total creeper. That's just gross. But anyhow, but creepers out there, hey, thanks. Thanks for watching our, our live stream. That's great. Oh, God. Anyhow, uh, what are you guys doing, those that celebrate Independence Day? What are your plans? I really think we're going to end up doing something with family. I don't know. I've yet to, hi Sharon, I've yet to find out what anyone has even got going on. I know our neighbors will do fireworks and we will totally mooch off of that and watch their fireworks if we're home. I have no problem with that. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we'll get some sparklers. I'm, to be honest, I'm just not much in the mood. I'm really not. I think you guys might understand that. Um, but anyway, so what I was saying before all that ooh la la nasty madness in the comments, we um we did get down the bottling and canning stuff, and 
I do anticipate being able to get started on some of that. I don't know. We'll see. I also need to have the kids bring me all of the empty bottles and jars and whatnot from the basement so that we can start getting those sanitized and then decide what we want to start with. I have all those cherries in the freezer that we pitted and, and then froze, but a lot of the other fruit is going to be coming on soon as well. Yet another reason I have got to get out to the Wonderland uh, today or tomorrow and suss things out. Hello, Joanne Van Hook. Um, suss things out out there and just kind of see where we're at as, as far as all of that goes. Um, I can't even think of what, oh, I know there was one other thing I was going to do. And this totally, this is okay. This is, we're squirreling here. This goes against all of the valuable lessons in, in fruit tree management and care that my daddy rest in peace taught me, but I am going to let one of our peach trees grow as a shade tree. <gasps> yes. I am going to because it is a uh, it's a different kind of peach tree. It's not cling peaches. It's that other one that I had a hard time figuring out the name of. It was like black peaches or I don't remember. But anyway, I, I figured out the name last year. Blood peaches, something like that. And we've decided they're not super yummy for like bottling as peaches, you, you've got to make them into a jam and we'll, we'll still do that. And I'll still thin out the fruit as best as I'm able. But I've decided that where we have enough fruit, that's like what we can handle, what we can manage. It might be fun to let that tree, especially because of where it's located to let that go ahead and grow. We've, we've chopped it back down many, many times so that it would put its energy into fruit rather than growth. But we have enough of the other fruit trees that we're maintaining at appropriate fruit tree height and plenty of other peaches. I think we're going to let this one grow. I think we're going to. We were at my uh, grandparents-in-law's house the other day, and they had let their peach tree become a shade tree. And they still get, hi, Phyllis, hi, Rachel, they still get plenty of fruit from it for their purposes and their needs. And also get a shade tree. And I am normally 100% against using fruit trees as shade trees. Except that in this situation, um, it makes sense. Because we have so many of the other fruit trees that we can barely manage. So, and we don't have enough shade. Especially on our big lawn in the back. So that's kind of the plan. And that is something I never thought that I would do. Never thought I would do that. Yeah. Because fruit trees are fruit trees. But what if you don't love the fruit? Yeah. They do make great jam, though. They do make great jam. And that's, so that's kind of, hi, Alvy and Slam. Um, that's kind of the idea for this next week is to jump in on, on processing our fruit. We'll see. And also feeding all of our like vegetables. We don't have a ton of vegetables going on this year because of course things always, you know, the the best laid plans often go awry and definitely in, in my life. But I will be working on like the cucumbers and all of the, the herbs and things like spinach and tomatoes. Those are things that we have planted. So we're going to work on feeding and also... Um, harvesting, and definitely lots of deadheading. Uh, several of the the plants that we've that we are like our flowers, they've done their first round, and you know it's time to start deadheading. And then the ones that I had deadheaded that were the early spring. Hi, Diane. Uh, those are doing their second round of growth because I I was uh, I got around to deadheading them. So like my candy tuft is starting to bloom again, which is oh fabulous. And I am working on deadheading the roses and uh, and and just lots of the other plants, the snapdragons. It's it's time for a lot of those to be deadheaded. Except for the few that we're gonna let go to seed. So lots of stuff going on mostly with gardens. And 
you know, we have a lot of things we want to go out and do, and and we are going to do some of them, but we are prioritizing just because of the cost of gas to go anywhere and do anything. You know, we're going to try as much as possible to plan out any time we're going to, you know, be using the car to make it as efficient as possible, try to get as many things done as possible, which gets tricky because we also have still the limits of my foot. So, so we're trying to, you know, not go out and, and, you know, drive 50 miles for one activity that's going to take an hour, but rather, you know, come up with some other things to do along the route to make it, you know, just to be more efficient, you know, stuff like that. I am going to get to the P.O. Box either this weekend or or this next week. Um, and and we're going to be doing some dumpster diving throughout the next week as, as you know, my body allows and, and stuff like that. What else? We're going to fold a lot of laundry here at home. <laughs> You got to have clothes to wear. Even if you don't feel like changing out of your jam jams, you do at least want to have the option. Have the option there. What else? God, I can't think of what else it is that... I know I had other stuff I wanted to tell you, but what was it? Oh, I know. Mm. Is Lightning Anna here yet? I don't think so. I haven't seen Lightning Anna in the comments, but did you guys know? Oh my goodness. Something I've been watching all morning that Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland, California opened back up today. Oh, oh, yeah. It's exciting for, for some of us. It's very exciting. Very exciting. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in California so much more than the one in Florida. Each, each of the parks has, you know, their, their, really awesome rides that are better than the ones in the other parks. They have their strengths. Like the Haunted Mansion in Florida blows the one in California out of the water. Except for, the, of course, the facade. The one in California is amazing. But but the actual ride, the one in Florida is so much more fun and more spooky. But the Pirates of the Caribbean in California far exceeds the one in Florida. Absolutely. And it has reopened. And oh, Oh, and the plan is still to go to Disneyland for a reprieve and to refill our cups and revive our spirits in 69 days. We will see if that happens. No promises, no guarantees, but we're going to sure try. Yeah, isn't that great? Yeah, yesterday was 70. Felt like yesterday was 99. I know. Time flies. God, time flies, guys. Yeah, we're already, what, coming up on, on Independence Day. That went quick. Um, so, anyhow, those are the things I have going on. We have going on. So there will be fruit picking and fruit processing and, and flower deadheading and flower planting and seed sowing. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to mention. I'm doing a second round of sowing seeds of several different plants some of the of the eating variety and others decorative just starting a new round of them to see what happens and to hopefully this way have extended blooms so that when one is finishing another is starting up you know to to take the place until the other reblooms or whatever you know that's been a big part of my thing this year is to put more time and energy and focus and research Oh, I will, Laura. I'll be careful um, of the wasps. <clears throat> but to put more, instead of buying new plants all the time, to start really taking care of the ones we already have and to start implementing some of these things with feeding and with, you know, proper care and with staggering plantings to try and get my gardens to where I want them. See if we can make that happen. Stuff that I've been working on for a long, a long time, or at least wanting to do, but have never really put the time and energy into, you know? So we're, we're going to pick up some more dirt. I'm going to do a second round of planting and seeding of different things, of, of spinach, of beans, of marigolds. And, and we're going to kind of just see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be an adventure. 
It's going to be an experiment. Hi, Manuela. Because as always, I, you know, I always say this in my gardens, that's, that's what we're, we're experimenting. But this time, the difference, yeah, we're always experimenting, but the difference this year is that I am putting more of the time and energy into doing it right and seeing what those plants actually need and not just trying to bend them to my will or plant them out there and then hope for the best. Not this year. Not this year. We're, we're doing it. Laura, when are you going to give up? <laughs> you have to be the most determined. Laura, have you ever seen? I'm sure you have. But, um, oh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. When the, oh, what was he? He was like the Knights of Neat or whatever. And he keeps trying to fight even though his arms and legs have been chopped off. It's, it's a comedy, guys. And he, he keeps trying to bite at the guy and I'll fight you and all this. That's you, Laura. Or The Gods Must Be Crazy Part 2. Another amazing piece of film. Uh, and there's whatever that animal was in, they were in like Australia. And there was some animal that had grabbed onto the guy's boot or his pants. And as he's just walking along for miles and miles, that animal will not let go. It just, yeah. <laughs> That's you, Laura. In, in, in a loving, in as loving a way as I can say. Those examples probably don't sound terribly loving, but it is only a flesh wound. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, mm. uh, you got to have running jokes, you know, throughout your YouTube experience. Running jokes, private jokes, you had to be there kind of jokes. Hi, Carly. I'm glad you were able to catch us. Yeah. Silly stuff. Fun stuff. Yeah. Anyway, I keep finding. Ugh. Hi, Claudia. Cat hair in my mouth. She was meowing at us this morning. She the kitty, Fernicus. So she climbs, like our front door has a, a window, this glorious, gorgeous window. That is actually, Pretty. it's very beautiful, but it's not terribly convenient when you're trying to avoid anyone knowing that you're actually home. But anyhow, the kitty has, has definitely taken it as her thing to let us know that she's ready to come in and rule her castle again. Uh, and so she'll climb up and put her little paws up on the, the frame of the window and meow, 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 meow. <laughs> She's, and, and she'll, like this, with her little patitas up. Oh, there comes another one. Let's see. Bye. And another one. Let's see. Report. Da -da. This is all the more reason for us to go and do the other stuff that we need to do today because they are sure being persistent, these nasty ones. Um, anyway, Mimi, but yeah, little gatita, she, she just, <laughs> meow, <laughs> meow, and is like just looking and looking and looking because she knows you're there. She knows you're there somewhere. She's so she's like, just... I brought you a sock. So uh, yeah, and like Reagan says, she, she'll she usually have a sock for us. She, like, or, a notices or a glove. Like, she notices that we wear them, so... Or she just realized we didn't want dead birds and dead mice. And isn't that wonderful? Anyway, before the yeah, trolly, time. nasty people make up another channel name to come into our live stream, for some reason they think this is the place for that. What are you doing? <laughs> Before they decide that that's the place, stop for their kind of content. We're going to go ahead and sign off. I've got to, you know, get dressed for the day and, and then we're eventually going to do stuff and start my puzzle. But I do have a lot of phone calls also that I need to make and emails to answer and insurance to, uh, insurance to mess with. So, and then lots of phone calls I'm waiting for and I want to keep the line open for when those come. So anyway, thank you for being here. Apologies that it is limited, limited time today, but I think most of you understand.
because we got some family stuff going on right now. Have a beautiful weekend and, and a wonderful day, and we will see you all very soon. <sighs> okay.